What's going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Wednesday edition of the Pandemic Update for Valentine's Day, Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. That's right. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is celebrating it safely by not going out and instead of doing takeout or delivery with your special person and, you know, just staying safe and uh, avoiding the crowds because place, let me tell you, places are busy today. I'm noticing it because I'm out here in the wild, but not too busy yet. I suspect later this evening it's going to really get busy at places. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the daily pandemic update on all things COVID and other viruses as well. If you want to stay safe, if you want to be informed and learn more, hit that subscribe button down below. Some days we do it out here in the wild. Some days we do it from home. Alrighty, I do have some notes today for today's pandemic update. You know, when we come out into the wild, I always bring some notes with me. And as you can see here, we do have a few things to talk about. And I also have something to add that I don't have on here. So we're going to have a discussion about that as well. First off, as you know, I'm from Philadelphia, so we talk about EMS calls. Why Philadelphia? Because... Well, unless you can find me somewhere else that reports the daily number of EMS calls, leave it down below if you can find it. Uh, I report the numbers that we have because they tweet about it every day. I don't know anywhere else that does. 716 EMS calls yesterday. That's an acceptable level. It's below 800. If you're new to the channel, we're a big city. It's normal to have that many EMS calls. All right, New Jersey yesterday. 68 out of 70 hospitals reported. 724 hospitalizations, and 78 people in the ICU. Hospitalizations for COVID in New Jersey continue to go down. That's what that number is for. All right. In Kentucky, East Stills County schools canceled for the remainder of the week due to illness. Yikes. This is, um, this is not good whatsoever. So, yeah, there are schools still. We've been reporting on several schools lately that have been canceling due to uh, illness. Who knows? Is it flu? Is it COVID? Sometimes they're saying flu. Sometimes they do say COVID, but not very often are they saying COVID. We have a whole uh, video that we did on our whole topic on just that, where we talked about if it's COVID, report it as COVID. All right. There is something else that I want to talk about that's not on here. And we'll get to that first. You know what? Let's do that first. So I'm driving along earlier and I was hearing, I have Sirius XM in the car, and I was hearing one of the DJs say that John Bon Jovi just had vocal cord surgery. And he just decided to release that. Don't know the exact date that he had it. If you know anything about that, let it be known down below. Also heard Robert Plant, you know, from Led Zeppelin had vocal cord surgery. I'm thinking, wow, this is interesting because we're hearing about this a lot. Since 2020, we're hearing about a lot of cases where these musicians have to have undergo vocal cord surgery. Now you can make many different assumptions. Can I tell you my theory? It may not be right. It could be wrong, but here's my assumption. One of the things with COVID is as of lately, there have been a lot of people getting laryngitis when they test positive for COVID. It's just been going hand in hand. I've been seeing it happen quite often as of recently. And it's not a good thing. But when you're talking about a musician getting COVID and then laryngitis, you have to understand these are performers, singers. That's what they do for their career. They make, they write music. They make music. They perform in bands. And a lot of them, you know, they come down and say, oh, so-and-so has an illness. He'll be unable to perform. The show's been canceled. A rescheduled date will happen. A lot of them, when they get COVID or whatever illness, usually it's COVID, within just a matter of a week or two, they're right back out there at it again. They are working out their vocal cords. They are just performing, you know, right back at it. They're not getting enough rest. And I think that's a problem. Because of many of these, some of these musicians that we hear about, they did have COVID. And then others, we don't know if they've ever had a COVID case because they won't disclose it. But 
I get it. It happened before COVID, but this is another case. Since COVID started, since the pandemic started, it's happening much more frequently than it has ever happened before. And when you're not getting a proper rest, guess what? Especially when you have the case of COVID causing laryngitis and you rush right back out there at it. Yeah, of course, you're going to have vocal cord problems. And these are musicians. They rely on their vocal cords to make their money. They rely on it to perform. And yes, that could lead them to having lead them to having to have vocal cord surgery. Now, would the average person go and do that? Probably not. But hey, these are people that have money. These are people that perform for a living. So yes, they are likely probably doing it because of that reason. That's just my theory. It's just an assumption. Maybe totally wrong. Let me know down below. What do you think is going on? All right. Also, something else you can comment about down below. This is really, uh, this one uh, kind of drives me nuts. And this has to do with, I have it written right here, or typed out, I should say. CDC hides replies by scientists who advocates mask wearing and COVID precaution. And it's not just the CDC. I'm seeing it happen by a lot of different people in the medical world, on social media, uh, Twitter. You can hide a reply. You can hide replies on YouTube as well. I'm seeing it happen a lot. Why are the people, why is the CDC and people in general, why are they hiding comments from people that are talking about wearing masks or advocating masks? Why are you hiding replies from people that are trying to take proper precautions or advocate proper precautions? Are you doing it because you want to move on and forget about it? I got news for you. You can't hide this virus. You can't suppress the pandemic. The pandemic did not end. People are still dying every day. People are still going on to get long COVID and mask wearing is still something that needs to be done. Okay? You need to continue to promote wearing masks. I know we're at the point of no return where we are only talking to a very small group of people that are going to take us seriously. But you know what? There's also another group of people. They're the ones that are going on to get long COVID. They're learning it the hard way because they didn't bother to take it seriously. And now they're at the point where, shoot, I guess uh, these people that are advocating safety and advocating all these complications that could be caused from COVID, shoot, they were right. Man, if I would have just listened, I wouldn't have been in this position. I mean, yeah. Then you have the people that just, you know, for whatever reason, they just want to move on. And they're only in this game. They're only in this prevention. They talk about uh, preventing virus. But when you go out and call them out on it, and maybe you catch them. I hate to even say this. There's been a lot of cases where people pretend to be super cautious and then something slips and you see a picture where they're doing something very risky. In the case of the CDC, they don't even try to hide it. They had that have fun at work day business where they had a party at the CDC. Yes, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention was having a party. Hello, you're supposed to be preventing the virus. You're supposed to help prevent the virus, prevent the spread of this. And here you are people who comment on your postings that are trying to do just that have their reply hidden. Why? Does that make any bit of sense to you? Hiding replies from people that are trying to do the right thing? I mean, think about that for a moment. You have a Centers for Disease Control and other, other people as well, people that claim to be medical experts. No disrespect to them. I know they're highly degreed. Why are you trying to suppress people who want to do the right thing? Don't do that. Take this seriously and stop trying to just move on from a virus that has not ended. You can't just forget the virus. You can't just suppress the virus because guess what? It's going to eventually come around to bite you. And it's going to get you. And you're going to learn the hard way. It should not have to come to that. Okay? That's the point that I wanted to drive across. Short pandemic update today. I really don't have much else for you. I also did a discussion over on my weather channel at Climate Data Report. I'm going to be uploading that right now. I'm talking about weather preparedness there today. I think there's some problems with that. Sometimes the forecast doesn't get cor 
correct. And when that happens, when the computer models are completely wrong, I feel people are not prepared for those situations. Sometimes it's for the better, sometimes it's for the worse. See more about that on my other channel. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoy the content you see on my channel here, give it a thumbs up. And remember, just stay safe this evening. It's Valentine's Day. Don't feel like you need to go out because it's Valentine's Day. Stay safe. We're still in high transmission of COVID. If you want to see more of this, just subscribe to my channel down below. I'll see you guys all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Wednesday evening and Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching.